So today I want to test the vertical limits of Red Dead Redemption 2. We're actually going to activate a fly mod that's going to allow us to fly in the sky. And we're going to see how high we can actually go. So I'm going to activate it. Fly mode is on. You see that, you see that at the bottom of the screen. Fly mode is on. Oh God. So we can, we can actually fly. So we're just going to go as high as I think we can possibly go. We see the mountains over there. We got the ocean or the, the water, the lake, the river, whatever you want to call it. Well, that's, I guess that's not a river, but you know what I mean. We got the water over there. We got the plains over here. More mountains. We got the clouds. It is a cloudy day. We, we are literally going through the clouds. I don't know how high we can go. I don't know. Oh, we're cold. We are cold. I don't know what's going to happen if we keep going. Like, will we die? We could see a break in the clouds right there. We can see... Oh my god, are we in heaven? Oh my god. We're getting tired. I think I think this is what heaven looks like. Oh wait, no, it's not. We can see we are we are very high up right now. And we're still going. Uh I really don't know what the vertical limits are, but uh I guess we are actually going to find out. Guys, we are still going up. Uh like I said, I I am not sure if there's actually a vertical limit because uh I've been doing this for a while now and we're still we're still going up. I'm I'm confused. I, I really did not expect there to be this much space up here, this high up in the map. Okay, so we are so high up on the map that I honestly can't tell if we're moving up or not. I don't, I honestly don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna suspect that we are finally at the highest point because like I said, I, I couldn't tell if we were actually moving up or not because we're so high up and so far away from everything. So this is what it looks like to be at the highest point in the Red Dead Redemption 2 map. And I don't think this would be a proper video if we didn't see what happens when Arthur falls from the highest point in the map. So without further ado, let's just turn fly mode off and... Oh God, this is gonna be such a long fall. Now, luckily I have um, invincible mode on. So when we do fall or when we do hit the ground, uh, we shouldn't die. I don't, I don't think we should. Oh God, Arthur, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry, Arthur. It's okay. It's, it's going to be over soon, buddy. You can see the mountains over there. Oh, God. I'm not, you know what? I'm not going to cut this. I'm not going to uh, skip ahead. We're just going to see the full fall. This is, uh, if you're afraid of heights, you might want to, might want to, uh, you know, turn this off, skip ahead or something. We are now falling through the clouds. Oh, God. We are... Yeah, we are getting closer and closer, and we're going to probably make a huge impact on the ground. And Arthur's still screaming. Oh, God. Oh, God. Wait, I think I have invincibility mode on. I actually, I actually don't know if I have it on. I guess we're going to find out. Oh, God. Oh. Ah, yep, that hurt. So this was the fly mod, and you can see we used that to see how high... We could go up in the sky in Red Dead Redemption 2. We can go pretty high. And we also saw what it was like to fall from the highest point in Red Dead Redemption 2 without actually dying. This is honestly something that I never thought I would ever do in Red Dead Redemption 2. But I guess with these mods, you can do a lot of things that you never thought you would be able to do. And with that being said, I'm going to end the video here. If you did enjoy this little experiment video, please give it a like. Please comment and please subscribe if you haven't. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video.